this weekend, we're taking our four-wheel drives out to a secret spot that we found last year near Joshua Tree National Park in Southern California. We're going to be camping out for the weekend and dealing with a little bit of rain, but making the most of it. Join us for this completely unepic weekend of overlanding. When you live in Southern California, every adventure starts this way, but our first adventure of 2024 is officially underway. Yep, every adventure starts with a little traffic. It's just the nature of living in Southern California. A slow, treacherous move through a sea of red taillights at the end of the day is a small price to pay for a weekend to escape the hustle and the bustle and the chaos around us. And at the end of this particular week, that had really been wearing on me. I was really looking forward to a weekend out with my kids and some of my close friends. As we aired down our tires, the worries of the long week behind me really started to fade away. It was time to go camping. If you're new here, I have some of the best friends on Earth. Ryan and Lexi, they're in the GX460, and you'll see Josh driving the Jeep. Josh and I have been best friends since the second grade. If you've been wanting to get into overlanding, the best thing you can do is to surround yourself with amazing people like this. Now tonight, as we're hitting the trail, we're just going out for a weekend of camping in a place that only a four-wheel drive can take you. Guiding each other by light bars and flashlights, we made our way up a steep obstacle as we returned to a secret yet familiar campsite that we found back in October. If you're not new to the channel, yes, we are returning to this crazy campsite. I can't wait to show you guys who are new. may recognize this spot uh, we just were here a couple months ago and this is like a really cool spot that we found I'll show you guys more in the morning but just these really awesome unique place I'll show you guys in the morning because it's a little bit too dark right now to, to see it but we're gonna hang out for a bit maybe have a little campfire a little whiskey uh, I'm gonna put the kids to bed and then we'll call it a night because it's pretty late and we're probably going to sleep in a little bit, but we'll see you guys in the morning. So we came up to this campsite back in October and it was one of the craziest campsite finds we've ever found. This place is so unique. People put a lot of work into this place. We've got some forts with all these string lights up here. All sorts of little shelters, fortresses. And some cool little 
areas and cutouts to set up camp. Josh has got his Jeep parked over here. We're all nice and nestled in here. Nice and cozy. Kids are up in the tent. They're watching a movie to kind of escape the rain for the time being. Ryan and Lexi have their truck set up right here. And then we also have Ryan's at the shelter to give us an area to kind of hang out and escape the rain. A bunch of little fire pits in this place. Um, and there is no fire ban tonight, so hopefully if we can get enough break from the rain, we'll have a nice actual wood fire. And then check this place out. You got like a little bar. Planning on trying to cook dinner over here tonight. More string lights. And then I got the truck parked right back over here. All set up, testing out a diesel heater. Think maybe it will fully work tonight. Are you down here? I'm down here. You guys watching that movie? Yeah. All right. So I got the diesel heater over here. Um, it worked kind of like on and off in brief segments last night. So hopefully, I think this morning I tested it, ran it for a good long while. Hopefully tonight it works better. It was a little chilly last night. Would have been nice to have, but we were okay regardless. I'm gonna get the kids' shoes out of the rain. And then I've got this power bank going, which is running everything this weekend. So the fridge, the diesel heater, the electric kettle. Um, so really putting that th through its paces and then that blue camp stove over there, which so far I thought it was really cool to have like a toast okay. function on that, but just kind of getting it all sorted and having a chill weekend right. in one single spot of camping Hold since back. it's rainy and cold. We just hanging out. Nice. <laughs> also got a little solar panel. Let's see how much this is putting out. <laughs> a grand total of 14 watts right now, but I mean, it's raining, it's cloudy, so you can't expect much. It's a 100 watt solar panel. Um, and that actually goes with the little power, the power bank. So we're just kind of kicking it. Really, really chill day of camping. Kids are watching Star Wars, as they keep saying. And. We're just gonna hang out here for a little bit and hang out in our nice little cozy camp spot. The day was spent hanging around the warm campfire, listening to the sound of the rain, tinkering around, and just enjoying each other's conversation and company. Sometimes bad weather catches us by surprise, and rarely is it ever really a trip ruiner. On this trip we actually knew that the weather was going to be like this, but to us it didn't really matter because we planned on just kind of hanging out and camping in one spot. We're still just kind of poking around. Honestly, I think we've all enjoyed this rainy weather. Not every trip needs to be epic, and more and more I'm learning that these real simple kickback, hanging out, just enjoying being out here trips are some of my favorite. When it comes to making a YouTube video, there's not a lot to get excited about on trips like these, but honestly, just camping, hanging out with everybody, making some good food, hanging by the fire, just enjoying being outdoors and especially in a unique spot like this. It's kind of tough to beat. This place really is so cool. I know I didn't really like show you guys all of this campsite, so I kind of wanted to just do a full walkthrough. I know I've shown you bits, bits and pieces of it, but Lots of effort put into this place. You've got like a legitimate table. You can actually sit down here and enjoy a meal. 
some bench seats made out of logs and then just all these like creative nooks and crannies this time up here when we were in October it was much cleaner there's definitely a lot more trash here this time and so when we pack up tomorrow we'll definitely be walking around and picking up a lot of this trash but overall just pretty cool this is kind of like the entrance or driveway we're all tucked up over here this is where I camped last time a nice little tucked in nook with another little shelter made little fortress and then little boulders back here out here is kind of like more of the rear entrance so to speak a little toilet and then you got this little entrance that goes through here kind of the main hangout area over here we've been all hanging out pretty much all day long by my little propane fire pit and just enjoying staying warm over there I mean there's like all sorts of contraptions shovels little grates grills I think we can how many fire pits did we count uh, like seven or nine or something seven, nine, four. let's say one two three four five six I think there's like seven, I think it's seven seven fire pits oh. and then you got this bar we'll put up all these lights in a minute we got Ryan brought some of his little string lights you can see here. Sorry if the camera's getting a little wet and blurry, but we'll turn up these lights in a little bit and kind of get the camp vibes going. And then there's just all this stuff back here, like barbecues, piano, camp chairs, somewhere uh, right here, there's a smoker. A little BB gun. There's a machete that I hit back there because I don't want my kids getting it. Uh, and then this bar. I was, if the rain kind of lets up, I was going to cook dinner over here tonight. But we'll see. I think Ryan's getting ready to chop some woods, get some real fire going. As I hear the rain picking up. <laughs> yeah, right. We'll see. But just an absolutely chill, chill afternoon. My little guy, right, uh, Henry, is knocked out from all the fun and staying up late last night. He's cuddling with Lexi, and Brooklyn is staying warm by the fire. As predicted, the rain did finally clear. So Ryan started getting a nice hot fire going for us, and I busted out the camp stove to get a nice hot dinner going for me and the kids. What's up now? Bacon for your cheeseburger. Just trying to get some good use out of the new stove tonight. I'm gonna be cooking up some bacon cheeseburgers, some tri-tip cheeseburgers with a little egg on there. I think it's gonna be good. Let's see how it turns out. It's been cold all day and wet, so I can really use a hot meal. I think the kids could too. Our cheeseburgers turned out great, and a nice warm meal was just what the doctor had ordered. As the evening went on, the kids were getting exhausted, and so I decided to get them ready for bed. I finally got the diesel heater working, and let me tell you, it couldn't have come at a better time. So the kids are in here sleeping, and we had a little problem. Henry emptied an entire water bottle on the mattress right here a little while ago and completely soaked my sleeping bag and this whole center part of the mattress. Now thankfully, the diesel heater has been working for the first time tonight consistently, and so that has been helping me. I dried it with like paper towels and stuff first. And that, this guy has been helping me dry the mattress. So I will be able to sleep in here. I've got the 
sleeping bag in the Tacoma drying off and hopefully all will be well. Thankfully, due to the size of this massive tent, one way or another I will have a non-wet area to sleep. We'll kind of figure that out when the time comes. But the adventure continues and I just thought I would share. And so you guys can see I got the heater running in the truck full blast. It's getting there. Sleeping bag's getting warm. Still a little damp in some of these areas, but man, it's always something. It's chilly tonight. What is it saying? 43 outside, so it's definitely cold, but we're getting through it. As I waited for my gear to dry, I headed over to the campfire to join the others for a proper campfire. Great whiskey, good friends, good laughs, and before we knew it, the night was starting to come to an end. The sky was starting to clear up, the temperatures were starting to drop, and we were left longing for our warm sleeping bags, which yes, by now, mine was dry as well. Sky clear last night, had a really nippy night. Finally had an actual night with a working diesel heater last night, which was awesome. Um, There's a couple settings that I needed to change on this to be able to get it to continuously run. And last night was a perfect night to be able to have it run all night long. So that was super, super nice. Got some pretty good sleep. Woke up, had some coffee. Uh, kids and I went on a little walk to check out the view just outside the campsite. It's turning out to be a beautiful morning. I'm gonna get some breakfast going. So we're going all out on breakfast, making hash browns, um, making enough for everybody, and then I'm gonna make some bacon and eggs. Um, I was gonna toast a bagel, but Ryan's actually making some pancakes. So we're gonna do a whole spread this morning. We're not in a hurry to get out of here. It's our last day here. And we're just trying to make the most of the day. So what better way to do that than just enjoying a nice morning, breakfast, a camp. Looking forward to it. I don't cook like this too often. So really looking forward to it. This stove, so this is the third meal that I've used this stove. And I'll probably do a whole designated video for this stove. Uh, it's made by Camp Lux. Um, they sent it out to me to test it out. And so far, here are my thoughts. I'm, I was interested in it because it has a grill on top, which I haven't been able to use yet. And it's got this little baking tray, which I really like to toast things and make sure like cheese on the burgers gets melted, kind of like you guys saw last night. Um, and so that's what interested me about it. It's 20,000 combined BTU between the three burners. These two burners have their own little auto ignition switch this one you've got to manually light but so far I've actually been able to dial down um, like the burner settings pretty well uh, the caps are your standard like plastic caps and like on one of them the sticker was kind of coming off already a little bit but overall for like 90 bucks I think it's a pretty cool camp stove pretty unique and that's what kind of interested me in it um, they send it out to me. I'm going to get a video done within like, I don't know, a month's time, something like that. But we'll have to see how long this lasts. Like some of the latches and stuff you can see, it's typical like camping material and stuff. And so I just, I don't know what the longevity on something like this is going to be. But overall, I say it's pretty cool so far. The one thing I did notice is I turned on the burner, this middle burner yesterday to do some... Um, 
toast and bagels, whatever. And this little like tray on top that covers it, like the burner guard, like really kind of distorted just from that one day of having the heat on it. And so that was the only thing I really noticed so far, but overall really, really excited about the potential for something like this. Just have to see how long it, it lasts. But overall, I think it's pretty cool. I live a pretty busy life. And so when I'm out on trips like this lately, I've just been enjoying slowing things down, hanging out at camp for the morning, cooking a good breakfast, maybe a long campfire like we did the night before, and not being in such a rush to get back out on the trail. <laughs> Well, we had a nice morning hanging out at camp, taking it nice and slow. Now we are all packed up, getting ready to scout out a couple future campsites, do just a little bit of exploring. If there's anything worthwhile, I'll bring you guys along for the ride, but I have a feeling, you know, we'll hit a couple places real quick and then hit the road. So thanks for watching you guys. We'll see you in the next one.